Cartoon recaps here. Today we will be recapping a Chinese and historical film called Neja. Spoilers ahead. Relax and enjoy. The movie begins with an existence called the Chaos Pearl. This is a form that was birthed from ancient essences. Two brothers called Taiyi and Shen Gungbao were sent by their master Tian Zun to subdue the Chaos Pearl. Due to the Chaos Pearl's ability to absorb energy, Taiyi and Shen cannot defeat it no matter how hard they try. Eventually, Tian Zun captures the Chaos Pearl and then separates the pearl into two opposite parts: the Spirit Pearl and the Demon Pill. Tian Zun then places a curse upon the Demon Pill that a powerful lightning will strike and will destroy it in three years' time. Tian Zun chooses Tai Yi over Shen to take the Spirit Pearl to be reincarnated as the third son of Li Jing, and he is to be named Neja. Shen conspired to steal the Demon Orb and Spirit Pearl. He placed a slave seal on one of Li Jing's servants in an attempt to steal both of the parts. With Tai Yi's negligence, the demon orb ended up being consumed by the child on the ritual altar instead, causing Li Jing's pregnant wife, Lady Yin, to give birth to a child, Neja, whose demonic nature is apparent. Tai Yi tells them that Neja's fate is sealed. In three years' time, the divine curse placed upon the demonic orb will kill him, regardless of being consumed with the demon orb's power. When it escapes from Tai Yi's protection. Thus Neja as a baby went entirely out of control until Tai Yi placed a ring around his neck, limiting his powers and keeping him the size of a toddler. But despite his size, Neja still remains far more stronger than an average human being. Tai Yi and the town citizen were initially against allowing Neja to stay in the village, but Lord Li Jing begged the townspeople and made a promise that Neja would never set foot in the village and cause trouble. Meanwhile, it is revealed that Shen stole the spirit pearl. For the Dragon King to reincarnate as his son, Al Bing, the dragons resent their role as jail guards of the Heavenly Court, and being confined to a hellish existence on the ocean floor, they hope that through the blessed nature of a son born from the Spirit Pearl, the dragon race would be deemed worthy by heaven. Finally, allowing the dragons to ascend, the Dragon King will enable Shen to take Al Bing as a student and nurture his skills. In the meantime, Lord Li Jing, together with Tai Yi. Then went to seek an audience in heaven to speak to Master Yuan Shi, so he will unbind the divine curse on his son. But a disciple of Master Yuan Shi tells them that the curse is unbreakable, and there is no way to talk to Master Yuan Shi. Tai Yi then consoled that there might still be a way to unbind the curse. To tame Neja's demonic nature, his parents prevented him from leaving the house when he wanted to have fun, and they also refused to play with him because they have other responsibilities. Neja was starting to get bored and upset. He escapes confinement only to play with the villagers mischievously. This makes the village people afraid of him. They all started to call him a demon. Due to this act, Neja is locked up in his room by his parents. He is very upset because everyone sees him like a demon. Both Neja's parents were now forced to make up a lie to make him happy by telling him that he was born of the spirit pearl and is destined to be a great demon hunter. Tai Yi also played along and took the responsibility. Of shaping Neja into a warrior of justice, and accepting him as his apprentice, Neja studies under Tai Yi and acquires excellent skills that even his master Tai Yi took a while to master. Eventually, Neja is becoming impatient. He thinks it is a waste of time since the people still treat him indifferently, and the impetuous Neja escapes his confines to hunt demons just to prove to everyone that he's not as scary as they think. Eventually, he found himself a water demon lurking in the village, while chasing the water demon. He wrecks down a fishing village along the way, believing that if the people see him protecting them, the villagers might accept him for who he is. The chase for the water demon continued. Burning more houses eventually leads to a girl being kidnapped by the water demon. Finally, Ao Bing makes his appearance and also comes to fight the water demon, but is ultimately defeated. Neja cleverly overcomes the water demon and rescues both Ao Bing and a little girl. Neja hated Ao Bing at first, but he did not expect to actually find his first and only friend. Both played for a little while until the townsfolk came with paddles and pitchforks. Misunderstood. The townspeople accused Neja of kidnapping the little girl and burning down the village. In a rage, Neja lashes out at the villagers, hurting each of them, adding fuel to the flame. Luckily, Tai Yi came to stop Neja from causing more trouble. Meanwhile, deep underwater, where the dragons live, Ao Bing finally arrived and paid respect to the Dragon King and Shen. Telling how he had progressed and met a friend, only to find out that the only friend was destined to be his sworn rival, the bearer of the demon pill. Ao Bing pleaded for Neja to be granted redemption, but the Dragon King interrupted. 
In the times of antiquity dragons were powerful beings, revered and worshipped. On behalf of the heavens, they fought monsters, subduing them into the oceans, earning them the title of dragon kings. The dragon told Ao Bing that this place was never a dragon palace but a prison. Gods use dragons to do the dirty work for them, convincing him that the spirit pearl is their only way to achieve freedom. Back in the village the Lee household organized a lavish birthday party for their son, inviting a nervous town to attend. Neja enthusiastically went to ask Ao Bing since he is his only friend. No idea what is about to unfold. Shen secretly visits before the party, revealing that he is in the dark about the truth of his nature. Upset, Neja still went to the party, not minding the crowd. He receives various gifts from his master on his way to his parents. Angry, he brought up to his parents how he knew everything about the lies on why he was being contained. He misunderstood that all his parents cared about was their reputation. Neja broke from the ring on his neck and unleashed his true demonic form. Neja was about to harm the townspeople when his father stopped him. Tai Yi even joined in to contain Neja from hurting anyone. They never knew that Shen secretly hid the ring from everyone while watching from afar. He was waiting for Neja to cause havoc. Shen planned to wait until the lightning struck Neja on his third birthday. That is when he wants Ao Bing to show himself, to be known as a hero who rescued the village from the demon, Neja. Ao Bing could not stand, watching his only friend kill his parents. He begged Shen if he could at least save his family and his master as the debt was being paid when Nexa once saved his life. Neja is still in a heated battle against his father with the tip of the spear to his head, about to unleash fire when Taiyi rescues his father using his brush. Feeling annoyed, Neja turned his ribbon to fight Taiyi. The battle leads his father helpless. His mother attempted to stop him, only to be pushed away. Neja was about to send the fatal blow when a force stopped his spear. It was Ao Bing. Luckily, Ao Bing was able to hold on to Neja. Taiyi then hastily casts a spell into the ring to finally return him back to normal. He's finally suppressed. Neja wakes up surrounded by people and leaves without saying a word. Li Jing already suspected Ao Bing's origins. He had to put up a scene to expose him that he was the bearer of the spirit pearl. Shen told Ao Bing that if his deceit is revealed to Tian Zun, then not only will he be punished, all of the dragon kind will be condemned forever. Ao Bing, not wanting to betray his kind, decides to bury the town alive under a massive sheet of ice, so there are no witnesses. Meanwhile Neja away from the village learns that while visiting heaven to plead for his life, his father sought an enchantment that would allow him to trade his life for Neja's and even wanted to keep it a secret from his wife. Moved by his father's sacrifice Neja cried and decided to return to the village to stop Ao Bing. In time, Neja was able to make it before Ao Bing turned his parents into ice. The battle commenced. Fire versus ice, Ao Bing told him that his powers would be limited as long as he had the ring on his neck. Stubborn Neja refused to give up, insisting he would beat Ao Bing with or without the ring, and used underhanded tricks he learned from his master, Tai Yi. He disguised as Shen within the fog to fool Ao Bing. Meanwhile, within the fog, another battle is ongoing between their masters, Tai Yi Zenren and Shen Gungbao. Shen had the upper hand as Tai Yi tried to run away. Shen tried to chase him when he bumped into a doppelganger. It was Neja disguised as him. Neja then took the opportunity to switch their weapons to confuse Ao Bing to go against his master. Until he realized he'd been played. The fight continued between the four of them until Ao Bing decided to end it by covering the entire village with ice together with Neja's parents. Neja realized he would not be able to beat him with underhanded tricks this time. Unleashing his complete demonic form, Neja rushed over the massive falling ice sheet. Ao Bing insisted on telling Neja to stop struggling and accept his destiny as a demon. I'm the boss of my own destiny. I'll be the one who decides, and I will not be a demon, Neja replied. Giving his all, Neja summoned a giant ball of fire and evaporated the massive sheet of ice. Neja defeated Ao Bing. Neja spares Ao Bing his life, calling him his only friend. When the heavenly lightning approaches, Neja surrenders to his fate. He sealed his parents to prevent them from trying to stop his curse and told them that this was his fight, although three years was not that long. He had fun while it lasted. His only regret was he never played with his father. He kneeled and kowtowed to say thank you to his parents and bid farewell as the lightning was about to take him. As the lightning rained on Neja, he is unexpectedly joined by Ao Bing. Ao Bing wanted to protect Neja, his only friend. Linking hands, they unleash the power of the Chaos Pearl, which has the ability to absorb energy. They continued to absorb the divine curse until their mortal bodies were not able to contain the energy of the strike. 
luckily Taya was decisive in taking the lotus to preserve their spirit. In their spirit forms, the townsfolk kneel before Ao Bing and Neja in respect. Thank you for watching guys, if you love animation movies, please subscribe to this channel, and keep watching, bye.